Did I even mention where we're going? I almost missed my flight. We are in the hotel. Oh, let's go. Slip it. <laughs> I love this building. Okay, we need to get a train. I'm quickly vlogging because I have to leave for the airport like literally right now, but I'm all packed I have my carry-on which is exactly seven kilos and that's the limit, but it's fine. Today is Christmas So Merry Christmas everybody. Did I even mention where we're going? We're going to Fukuoka It's really cloudy and a little bit dreary. It was really cool that I got to see Mount Fuji. I saw it flying into Tokyo like when I first arrived, but I didn't see it that close. So that was really cool. Now we are going to go to my hotel. I think I need to get a train. We are in the hotel and it has a nice view. Let's do a hotel tour. What's the time? It's almost 4 p.m. I've booked for myself to get dinner at this ramen place. Apparently they do like traditional Hakata ramen. I could be wrong. Also, I've switched to my camera. I find like my phone films better quality than my vlogging camera. I actually prefer the way that my phone looks, but the problem is that I film in 4K 60 frames and that takes up a lot of space. My storage is gone. I have no storage left. Anyway, here is my hotel. Actually, let's start from the front. So it's, you know, it's what you expect. You have a mirror disc TV. This is the bed. And then this is the view. It's so cute. And also a river. Oh, and there's some ducks in there. It's so pretty. Wait, can I open this? Eh. Oh, there's two sides. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! I love this building because it has like greenery on each level. Half nature, half man-made. I mean, obviously they planted it there, but that's really cool. And there seems to be a little Christmas market down there. This is the view down that way. It's so pretty. Is it just me or do you love getting the free stuff that the hotels give you? Slippers. <laughs> Honestly, since moving to Japan, I cannot wear shoes inside the house anymore. I tried to not do that anyways back at home. Shoes, they stay at the door. See? At the door, which I just realized I didn't even show you the bathroom. It's an all-in-one. You are well stocked. Like, you've got shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Sometimes you just get, like, all-in-one kind of thing. And there's also some stuff here. I'm so glad they gave me a toothbrush and toothpaste because I didn't pack any. Anyway, quick travel hack. It worked for me. It might not always work. I had to make do with seven kilos of carry-on luggage. So that includes, like, your suitcase and also, like, your smaller bag. Thing. I was worried that they were going to still weigh my, um, my shoulder. 
store the bag with my suitcase, which would then make it more than seven kilos. So I was trying to think about ways that I could like get away with it. You purchase something from the terminals, convenience store or something that like that, and you get a plastic bag and then you put stuff from your bag into the plastic bag. They might just look at it and think that it's just stuff that you've bought like food and drink and not like your personal belongings. For me, they didn't weigh the plastic bag. I put my camera and my tripod and my power bank in there because they were the things that were like really heavy in my small bag. My shoulder bag still was like 700 grams. So my total was 7.7 .7 kilos, but he said it was fine. So that's how I got away with it. The last thing that I want to ramble about, I know every single YouTuber does this and they're like, I almost missed my flight. I kind of low key did though. I don't know what happened. I did not hear a single announcement about the boarding beginning. I heard we will commence boarding soon. I'm like, cool, I'll keep an eye out for the actual announcement. I'm in the shop lining up and then I heard, this is the final boarding call for flight number blah blah blah. And it was my flight. And I was like, oh my god. I went back to the gate, which wasn't too far away luckily, but the lady was already closing off the gate to pack up and have the flight depart. So I started running. I was literally the second last person to board the flight. Let's go to dinner. So I didn't show her but after the meal we had a little conversation because she was asking if I live here where I'm from So we're just talking about that. I mentioned that I came to Fukuoka for the twice concert. She was like oh, K-pop. She said that she loves BTS and that there's a cafe in Korea where Jimin's dad works at She's really excited to say that she's had coffee made by Jimin's dad and like I'm not a huge BTS fan I don't really know them very well. But that is so wholesome. So yeah, she was really lovely She's only had this business running for like half a year and the food was so good. If you're in Fukuoka and you want some food, regardless of if you're vegan or not, go check it out. It's really small so you do have to make your booking in advance, but I highly recommend. Turns out my hotel has a roof. 
rooftop view. It's really cold, but it's so pretty. Too long 